I'm Zenobia Washington and welcome to Low Country Lifestyles. It takes a village to raise a child. Now how many times have you heard that statement? Do we really know what that statement means? We hear it in church, we hear it at uh, political rallies, we hear it in communities, but do we really do the very best we can for our children? Oftentimes, it is easy for us to give up hope when we see and hear all of the information around education, around bullying and violence, around teen pregnancy, but there are people and there are individuals and there are organizations that have the potential to save and help children one child at a time. So I have uh, brought Mr. or Dr. Reed, Dr. Tom Reed, on the show today to talk about this whole notion of a village saving a child. Uh, Dr. Reed is the co-founder of an organization called Carolina Human Reinvestment right here in Georgetown County and I want him to tell us about this organization because it started off Dr. Reed as a prison mi ministry, uh, an organization that helped people in prisons. So tell us a little bit about that and tell us how it evolved into this wonderful organization that it is now. Well, initially, we, it was a prison ministry where we went in and ministered to uh, inmates uh, within the county jails uh, in the tri-state, tri-county area. Uh, but one of the things that was so alarming to us that we found that people were incarcerated because of drug addiction. Right. Uh, they were not treated while incarcerated. And once released, they were going back into the same environment. Right. So we knew we had to, to step up our game just a little bit. Uh, you can't prepare someone for re-entry if they still have the same problems that caused the incarceration. That's true. So we got together, uh, Reverend Jesse Marshall and some, some other individuals, uh, and we came together with a, a, a program that we felt that would be from soup to nuts uh, in, in, in order to go into the prisons, uh, prepare people for re-entry, and when they come home to have programs prepared for them Right. Uh, so that they won't get caught back up into the same Catch-22. Okay. Now, I know that uh, I am I am a wonderful fan of uh, Sam Cooke, so I stay abreast of all of the things that he's putting on board. So I know that there are lots of programs and components to Carolina Human Reinvestment. But I want to focus on the Amachi program. Um, I think that that's an, that has the potential to have an awesome effect in this community, uh, especially for at-risk young people. So let's talk about uh, what the Amachi program is, the Carolina Human Reinvestment Amachi program, and what does the word mean? The word uh, uh, Amachi is, uh, is Nigerian Igbo, right. and it's, um, it's, a, it's a, a saying in one word, and it means who knows what God has brought to us in the form of this child. Right. Um, and we, we were quite taken with it. Uh, the founder of this program, by the way, this program is in 48 states. Wow. Through, 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 throughout, throughout our great country. And the founder came to uh, this area to speak at uh, Coastal University. Uh -huh. And we had the opportunity to talk with him and, and meet with him. And he was impressed by our efforts and what we wanted to do. Right. Uh, so he invited us to Philadelphia, and we all went up. Uh, and we were certified in okay. Amachi. Uh, in order to have this program, we had to go through a, a very rigid and, and strenuous pro, uh, training program for right. seven days. Okay. Up in Philadelphia, we go back and forth to prisons, how to talk to inmates, and so forth. Uh, and that's the genesis of how we got started with, with that particular program. Amachi. I gotcha. So now, Amachi is like a, it's a, a, a mentoring type of a, a format. So it's based on one individual mentor uh, mentoring one individual child. Yes, okay. yes. But it's mentoring children of incarcerated parents. Okay. Okay, that separates us from other mentoring programs. We, we mentor children whose parents are incarcerated. Statistically, 87% of children whose parents are, have one or two parents incarcerated, right. them themselves will be incarcerated right. if there's no intervention. Now, just that little word, intervention can knock that whole train off track. Right. Uh, and when we found, and it works. Okay. It works. Uh, so that's exactly what, what we do. We, we go into jails, we, we talk to moms, we talk to dads, whoever have a custodial uh, care of the child, and we talk with them uh, and get them to commit. Right. To signing up their child. That's only the beginning. Right. There's a whole long, long, long uh, uh, process. 
uh, that we have to undertake. But that starts it. Okay. And you, you, well, you would not be surprised, but uh, especially when we go into women uh, uh, correctional facilities, right? The moms are so eager, right? So eager to to make sure that their child is not following these footsteps, and 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 so are dads, right? So are dads. Right. Uh, so when we come back, we're going to dis uh, continue our discussion with Dr. Reed about the Amachi program, and we're going to talk about um, the impact that a mentor can have on a young child, and also the impact that a community working together, what impact that can have on young people as well. So we will be right back.